Hi, this is Patricia, and I'm here today with my daughter, Emma. And we have a, a spring layout to share with you from Richard. Good eye. I picked some photos from spring of last year, and I'm going to make a simple grid from these. I have three photos, and I want something in the center. So I'm going to use this Make Amazing Steel Rule die of flowers and leaves to make one large flower to put in the center. My mom is running this through the Fun Stamper's Journey machine. I'll have a link of all the supplies that I've used on this layout on my blog. Now that I have these cut, I want to start curling some of the edges of the petals of the flowers that I pick for the center. My mom is using the creasing tool from Fun Stamper's Journey to curl the petals on the flower. Now I'm trying to decide what size flower to choose. So I've picked this one and then I've picked the matching design to go on top of it. But later you'll see that I actually changed the yellow to a softer yellow instead of this mustardy colored yellow cardstock and then chose a, the smaller flower with the different style flower to put on top. This the same one that I'm curling right here. I just I wanted it big but I didn't want it too too big. And I wanted a little bit of a softer yellow. My mom is trimming this pattern paper to put under these flowers. Mom, why did you pick this pattern paper? I picked this pattern paper because it has a nice soft springtime look to it with the plaid design. I just thought it looked very springy looking. It does and it coordinates with the flower. It does and it actually coordinates with this beautiful polka dot pink pattern paper here that I'm trimming around my photo to have as a border. Oh and I do like that. I like the look. You can see the little polka dots underneath mm -hmm. the photos. And it looks pretty springy. It does. Okay, and now you can see where I changed out the mustard colored cardstock for the softer yellow cardstock and the smaller flowers. And then I used the Noteworthy Collection dies to cut those little squares, the two inch squares with the rounded corners. And I'm going to use this Make Amazing Happen stamp set to stamp onto this pink polka dot paper. And the pink, the watermelon color really shows nicely against that pattern paper. Now I want to do some more stamping with this banner using this pretty yellow color. And I will use the same matching die cut. This is from the Celebrations Collection. Now my mom is putting these little banners on top of the little squares. And now I'm using the, this rosette set from the Celebrations Collection. I'm using the smaller rosette for this. You have to cut two to form one rosette. And you just accordion fold the flower up, and then that's one half. And then you do the same to the other side. And I want to fold those crease marks down pretty well, like, like, a, like you're making a fan. And then fan it back out. And I'm going to use the double-sided Fun Stamper's Journey tape here to tape just one side of the flower and then adhere it to the other side of the flower. My mom is making the rosette to put in the middle of the flower. Any excess that you get with the double-sided tape, you just fold back over onto itself and then just put those two ends together, press them together pretty well, and then you have your rosette. I used a plain pink cardstock here, and um, I just think it really helped to, to go with the overall pink from the squares in the grid design. And now from the first Celebrations collection, I want to pull out these stamps with lots of sentiments, and I want to use the sentiment Enjoy. Mom, what are you making and why are you making it? Okay, so the Enjoy is going to be my title, and I'm going to layer that on top of the rosette and the flower. But first, I have to, to trim out the stamped Enjoy, and I'm going to make a little banner from it. Cool, I really like what you did. 
Well, thank you. You're welcome. So out of these three pictures, my favorite one is me in the strawberry patch. That is a cute one. And the three pictures are me in the strawberry patch, me sitting on dead when I'm wrestling, and my boots stepping in the water. <laughs> it's cute. Okay, now I need to add some journaling about what's happening with these photos and some of our fun things to do during the springtime. So I just drew a pencil line, straight pencil line, and it's just a guide because I sent this whole sheet through my typewriter and, and, and added my journaling. So now I can go ahead and erase this, that pencil line and start adhering everything into place. I like what you did there, Mom. Well, thank you. Why do you like it? Well, I like it because it looks very springy, and I like how the pictures are arranged, and I really like the polka dots behind the pictures. I do, too. Now, I know you're not crazy about black and white photos, but do you know why I picked the black and white photos? No, why did you? I picked them so that they would actually stand out even more against mm. the white background and the pops of color from the patterned paper and card stocks. Yes, that is very true. Now the banner, the little banners that I stamped and die cut, I want to add those on foam adhesive. So I'm going to put some foam adhesive behind those to attach to the corner of those little squares. And then I'll do some foam adhesive on the second layered flower and the rosette and the sentiment. So it will be kind of a nice big embellishment that I made. Since this is a simple layout, it's, it's, I think it's nice to have one big embellishment. It brings the focus to the three photos, and it is just a really fun springtime look to it. Now I decided as a last minute to add this flower from the Make Amazing Happen along with the matching dye. And in, I stamped it in the same yellow that I used the banners. And it creates a nice triangle and it brings the focus down to my journaling. And now I just want to finish this up with some of the dots from the Make Amazing Happen collection. And then I want to use some paint here and just add some splatters. And that'll finish the layout. It's just a nice clean and simple layout with a grid design that's really keeping the focus on the photos. And that's it, Emma. Thank you for being with me today. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us.